There are a ton of free utility modules on the VCB Rack library page. They range from ones like Arena by Stower Melder, which allows you to adjust the dynamics of up to eight voices based on their positioning in this graph. To ones like Please Quit by Bacon Music that shuts down VCV Rec when you send a trigger to this port. I'm going to show you several useful ones and talk about why they rock. First up is Strip by Stuart Melder. This module allows you to manipulate and load pre-made strips of modules, which are all the touching ones in the same horizontal line. This mode button designates if you're affecting the modules on the left, the right, or both sides, and it cycles through the selections every time you click it. The next two buttons turn the modules on or off respectively. This is just like pressing Ctrl E over a module, but you can do it to all the modules in the strip quickly this way. Again, it only works if the modules are touching. Even a little gap will stop the function, which you could use to your advantage. This button randomizes all of the modules in the strip. You can use this button to select which parameters you want to exclude from the randomization also. You just click on it and then click on the parameter, and just keep doing that to all the parameters you want to exclude. Now if you hit randomize, you can see that these ones don't change. To reset it, you just click on the button until it's green, and then click and drag off of it. Now all the parameters will randomize again, no exclusions. You can cut, copy, and paste through the context menu, or with the keyboard shortcuts, which use Shift instead of Control, so Shift, X, C, or V. This module also allows you to save. In the context menu, navigate to Save As, and then give it a name you'll remember. Go back to the context menu and click load. Pull up the file and boom, there it is. All around very useful module and I think you might like it. Next up is Inkland's cable color key with color spelled the un-American way. People love this module because you can use it to color code your cables easily. You just hold down the number that's next to the color you want on your keyboard, then you pull a cable and it'll be that color. Every cable you pull after that will be that color until you press another number. Also, if you want to change the color of an existing cable, you just hold down the number next to the color you want, and then click on one of the ends of the cable. Let's say I want to change this green one to a blue one. I press and hold down 4 on my keyboard, click on this cable, and boom, it's blue. There are some lesser known features in the context menu that make this module extra hot. If you come down here to replace patch cable colors, the pop-out menu will display all of the colors currently in your patch. You can then change all of those cables to a new color. Here I have a boatload of yellow ones but I want a boatload of purple. So I come down here, hover over yellow, and then go to purple, and bam, all of them change just like that. We can also add cables to the list with the cable add feature, and change their colors by right-clicking on the specific cables. As an example, if you want to change the purple to gray, which is my favorite color, we right-click and swap the color on the palette, or with a hex number. Thank God color spelled correctly here. You can also change any of the key bindings if you don't want to stick to the numbers. This is a super useful module, one that I personally have in all of my patches. The next one's a little more basic, but still an all-star. It's Add 5 by JW Modules. It adds 5 volts to your output. This is extremely useful when you have a bipolar control voltage, meaning it runs from negative 5 volts to positive 5 volts, and you want it to be unipolar, meaning it runs from 0 to 10 volts. When you're modulating, you're essentially turning the knob of the parameter. If you use a bipolar wave to modulate, it'll turn the knob above and below where you have it set, because the modulation brings it above and below zero. Here's how that sounds. Sometimes you want it to just go in one direction. In that case, you need a unipolar wave, and we can use add 5 to make the bipolar wave unipolar. Here's how that would sound on the same example. In this case, it's only turning right, because the value is only positive. If you want it to only turn down, or left, then we can just invert the wave. There are lots of modules that can do that, but an easy way is with an antenuverter. So yeah, check out Add5, it's a good one. Lastly, for this video, we'll look at two related modules called Merge and Split from the stock module set. We can use the Merge module to make a polyphonic cable with a bunch of monophonic cables. And we can use Split to separate them again. There are 16 total channels for each of these, and the channel number is automatically determined by the number of inputs for merge, and the polyphony of the cable for split. I personally like using these for modules like Polygene, where I can have tons of different clock sources in one cable. Have that progress some Euclidean rhythms, 
and then split those up and have them trigger specific voices. And that can make some funky rhythms like this. Well, that's it for this one. All of these modules are free and there's links to them in the description. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. All of the content I make is free, forever, for everyone, on my Kofi page. I recently updated my VCV rack cheat sheet with much more content, so check that out if you like that kind of stuff. We have some new supporters I'd like to shout out. Lun Gao is a new supporter added to the list. Thank you so much for supporting my work, Lun Gao. You rock and I really appreciate you. Elstack EM, who is the first ever monthly supporter, also should support again. Thank you so much, Elstack EM, for your continued support. And finally, we have my beautiful wife as the second monthly supporter. Thank you for your monthly support, my beautiful wife. You're awesome. Love the name. Huge shout out to my other supporters as well. Your names will always be on my webpage and on the dedication page of the VCP Rack Cheat Sheet. Thank you for checking this video out, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.